If your ex has been slipping away from you for a while now, and you're starting to lose hope that you'll ever be able to get them back, well, I made this video especially for you. Because in just a second, I'll be giving you some tips and guidance to figure out whether it's time to give up and let your ex go for good. I'm Brad Browning, aka Breakup Brad, and helping people like you get back together with an ex is what I do. Uh, my channel here on YouTube is the number one place for trusted breakup advice, and my videos are always ad-free. So if you haven't already done so, please join the half million or so others who've already subscribed to my channel. Just click subscribe and turn on notifications with that bell icon. Now, the topic for today's video. How do you know when all hope is lost and you should quit trying to ever get your ex back? Well, actually, to be honest, one of the best ways is to go to breakupbrad.com slash quiz and just take my free five minute quiz. You just fill out the questions uh, after this video is over and then you click submit and you'll see a detailed score and results report analyzing your situation and telling you if there's any hope left of getting your ex back. Again, you can take that quiz for free at breakupbrad.com slash quiz. Now here are three more scenarios where it's definitely over for good. So it's over for good if your ex is taking out, taking out a restraining order or court order against you. Uh, it's over if your ex has already remarried someone else. And it's definitely over if your ex has passed away. So uh, yeah, if you're in any of those situations, you can stop watching now and start moving on with your life. Uh, unfortunately, all three of these things definitely, definitely mean that it's truly over with your ex for good. But obviously for most of you watching, things likely aren't that dire. You know, maybe your ex just feels far more distant and disinterested when you talk to them. Uh, maybe they haven't replied to any of your, your messages or your calls lately. Or maybe you've been trying to win them back for months now and it feels like you haven't made any progress. So if that's the case, here are some tips to help you decide if it's over for good or if you still have a chance and should continue to chase your ex. Tip number one is to consider how often your ex is reaching out to you. So how many times uh, since the breakup has your ex initiated contact with you? In other words, you know, how often did they send you a text out of the blue, call you to catch up, invite you to hang out with mutual friends, etc. The more often your ex reaches out to you without, you know, initiating the conversation, the less likely it is that they're completely over you. Now this is especially true if they're contacting you for, you know, unimportant stuff, uh, like asking if, what you've been up to, or, you know, just sharing a funny inside joke. If your ex hasn't contacted you at all in months, and any conversations that you do have are the ones that you've started yourself, then that's not a great sign and it can suggest that it might be time to give up trying. Tip number two is to evaluate your ex's current relationship status. I mean, I'm sure it won't surprise you to hear that your ex's current dating life has a big impact on whether they're ever gonna be willing to get back together. Uh, if they're not dating anyone at all and they haven't been on any dates with new people since you broke up, that's great news for your chances of getting them back. But on the other hand, if they've been seeing someone for over a month now, and especially if it looks like that relationship with this new person is getting serious, you know, in other words, if it's not just a short-term rebound, uh, that's not good news. Now, just because your ex is dating again doesn't mean, you know, by itself that all hope for you is lost. But if they are now in a serious relationship with someone new, that is a bad sign for your chances. Tip number three, look for jealousy. So if your ex has shown any signs that they're jealous when you tell them about you know, your life since the breakup, that is a very strong indication that they're still emotionally invested and they're not ready to let go of you completely. So that's usually a clear sign that there is still hope of getting them back. Now guys, if you want my tips on how to safely and effectively use jealousy to make your ex want you back, uh, click the pop-up in the corner here and watch my previous video on that very topic. Now, if your ex isn't at all jealous, you know, even when you've, you've told them that you're starting to date other people again, that's definitely a bad sign for your chances. Um, but do keep in mind that some people are inherently less jealous than others. So this by itself isn't always a nail in the coffin. Tip number four, think back to, to any in-person encounters that you've had with your ex and how they reacted and how they acted around you generally. So if you've seen your ex since the breakup, you know, how did they act? Was it weird? Were they ignoring you entirely? Were they keen to talk to you? Did they seem angry or nervous around you? Really the, the best case scenario is that your ex is flirty, friendly, and, and nostalgic when you hang out with them in person. You know, the more kind of sparks and sexual tension in the air during your time spent together, the, the more reason you have to be optimistic. On the other hand, you know, if your ex tries to pick a fight with you uh, or seems totally unreceptive to your jokes and your attempts at flirting, that's not a good sign. Your ex being awkward when you see them or your ex kind of, you know, actively trying to avoid seeing you or running into you, that's not usually a bad sign by itself. Um, sometimes this can actually just mean that they're nervous because they still have feelings for you. Uh, or it could mean that they're worried that if they see you in person, they might be overwhelmed by emotion and do something silly, like ask you to get back together, even though logic tells them that breaking up was the right choice. Nonetheless, generally speaking, you can gauge your ex's current headspace based on uh, how well your in-person hangouts have gone. And like I said, the more sparks that fly, the more flirting and sexual tension in the air, the more likely it is that you still have a chance of getting them back. And tip number five, think about how your ex responded when you brought up happy memories or inside jokes since the breakup. 
So one of the most effective X-Pack techniques that I teach in my X-Factor program uh, involves planting seeds of nostalgia in your ex's mind by subtly dropping reminders of happy times that you shared together or, or of inside jokes that only your ex will understand. Now, this is a very, very effective strategy when it's used correctly. Uh, usually, if your ex still has feelings for you, they're gonna respond to this kind of uh, nostalgia and sighting message in a positive way. At the very least, you know, you can expect a simple LOL or a, or a smiley emoji in response. But if you've tried this a couple of times and you know you've brought up a really positive happy memory or a great inside joke and you've executed the technique properly, then a lack of reply is usually a sign that your ex is moving on. And tip number six, think about how realistic your future together really is. Look, guys, if your ex is about to move to another country on the other side of the planet, um, is it really realistic to think that you could ever be happily together in the future? What if you want kids and your ex definitely doesn't? Uh, what if your ex has a history of cheating on you? You know, is that going to continue to be a problem in the future if you were to get back together? Just generally be realistic about whether a serious relationship with this person is even possible in the long run. If you really can't, you know, confidently say yes to that question, that should definitely give you some doubts about whether you should still be pursuing them. And finally, tip number seven, uh, be honest about what's actually causing your heartache. So just because you're feeling lonely and depressed about the breakup right now doesn't necessarily mean that you're missing your ex specifically. Sometimes the emotions you're feeling after a breakup are more about the fact that you're no longer in a relationship with anyone than they are about missing your ex. So in other words, is it really your ex that you're missing like crazy right now? Or is it more that you're missing having someone there for you? Missing having someone love you and be part of your life every day? If it's definitely your ex that you miss and you can't imagine being with anyone else, then you are probably right to continue to try to get them back, right? But if you and your ex weren't actually all that compatible in the first place, or your relationship was fundamentally flawed, then the heartache that you're feeling right now is probably not your, about your ex at all. Uh, and you can probably heal that pain by finding someone new to fill your ex's shoes. Again, the key is just to be honest with yourself about whether your ex was really right for you and whether somebody else might actually be a better match. Remember to take my quiz at breakupbrad.com slash quiz to get your free assessment report. It takes five minutes uh, and the quiz results will break down your chances of ever getting back together. Again, the URL for the quiz is just breakupbrad.com slash quiz. All right, folks, I hope you found this video helpful. And honestly, whether or not you choose to give up on your ex or keep fighting to win them back, I, I wish you the very best. Uh, good luck and thanks for watching.